If the story you are about to see were the product of a writer's imagination, you might label it unbelievable. But these events actually took place on the streets and alleys and in the tenements where we filmed them, in the shadow of the bridge. What did you do after he fell down? I, I hit him. What did you have in your hand when you hit him? Piece of wood. And this piece of wood you had in your hand, what was on it? Uh, uh, what, what do you mean? On the end of the piece of wood, what was there? I don't remember. Please speak up so we can hear you. I don't remember. What was your answer? Please let the court hear it. Objection. Are you trying to make a fool of me? Your Honor, I cannot complete my examination if this idiot goes on interrupting. That is not a proper remark in reference to counsel. Gentlemen, your remarks are discourteous not only to one another, but to this court as well. well I realize everyone is very tired. Let's just confine ourselves to questions and answers. Get away from me. Don't lay a hand on me. Your Honor, this man wants to assault me. Your Honor, I did not assault him. Take the defendants out of here. I demand police protection from the prosecution. This court will be in order at once. This trial stands adjourned till 4 o'clock. The jury will be advised. Judge, may I have just a moment? Get that man out of here. Can I just say something to that? Oh, say get him something. out. Get him out. May I just pop him out? Get him out. What did I do? All right, stand there. Lean forward and press your hands up against the wall and freeze it. Where's the weapon? A weapon? A Bible. Maybe there's a gun in it. Who do you work for, the gang? Ah, it's just a Bible. Where's the gun? I don't have a gun. I'm a minister. Those are my ordination papers. You always carry ordination papers with you? What are you trying to hide? David Wilkerson. That your name? Yes. What are you doing here? I was trying to get permission from the judge to help those kids. With what? No evidence? All right, stand up now. Watch him. I'll go see what the judge wants to do about it. How do you think you can help those kids? I've, I've got a whole church full of people praying for them back in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> they better be praying for a miracle because the DA will burn those creeps. Give him back his Bible. All right, the judge said he won't press any charges if you'll agree not to come back here anymore. Now, what do you say? What the hell? These kids are not of your faith. Hey, Reverend, what's that book you got in your hand? The Bible. You ashamed of it? Of course not. Stop hiding it, then. Hold it up where we can see it.
You were sleeping in the back seat. I did. What if he wakes up? He look bad? He don't look too bad, but he don't look too good either. You're choking up, baby. How are we going about this? Well, look. When he comes out of the car, you grab him like this. You hold on to him, and I'll grab his wallet. You like that? Yeah. That's nice. OK, when he comes out, we'll just get on him. See? I'm David Wilkerson. Little Bo Peep, Davy, baby. But you can call me Bo. The dude that tried to slice you, that's my man, Bottle Cap. Hi, Bottle Cap. Hey, you made it. Bring that junk back here. Come on. Uh, you want me to whale tail on you? The fool's copping from my man. Get yourselves together. That's a real fine pair of shoes you got there. Sure wish you had me a fine pair of shoes like that. Thanks. Hey, do you know that gang, the Egyptian Kings? Yeah, they pretty bad, but it ain't the heaviest. Like, they wouldn't mess with the Mau Mau's or the Bishops. I took these shoes off of a wino. Must have athletes feet or something, because I'm always itching. Mau Mau's, huh? Sure would like to meet them. Is that your gang? What I need a gang for? I run alone. I ain't got no use for jitterbugging and getting messed up and cutting cats. Ain't no bread in it. Bo, you believe in God? I don't worry about him. I just worry about the pigs and hustling bread. Easy for you to talk about God. A rich man like you, with that bad car, and those fine shoes. God worries about you. You're on his mind right now. You better tell him to think a little harder, because he ain't coming through. What's the gag? You keep belly aching about shoes, put them on. I don't want your stinking shoes, man. Don't make a thing of it, just put them on. What are you going to wear? I've got another pair at home. Where's that? Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, beautiful, baby. Give me five. Look, you want to see the gang? I'll show you the gang. Let's get this chariot together, Davy, baby, and I'll take you to see some real boxes. Only don't go laying none of that God stuff on them, because they'll cut you so full of holes that you can sprinkle the grass in, which we'll call it Pennsylvania, just by drinking a glass of water. Mm -hmm. 
They got himself busted in the Egyptian king trial. Oh. <laughs> Leave him alone. That's his thing. And don't go trying to turn a trick on him. He popped that same smile on me in bottle cap. Hey, he wants to meet the gang. Why don't you take him inside? I can't. The mom I was waiting for a war concert with the bishops. My brother's inside. It's all right, boy. We'll go in. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Maybe it's better if I don't. Like I said, I'm a loner. And I just run dispatches from one gang or another. If I just, like, walk right in the clubhouse, I mean, they might not like it. You're just afraid they might cut you. Oh, go on. Take a man. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna get balled out. Unless you give me $5. Go on. You can turn them loose just inside the door. $5 is my price. Let's cool it, Davy, baby. Five bucks is this chick's top price. For that, you get two joints of marijuana, her body, and two bits change. Well, should I give her some money? Two bucks, top. You better make it three. You don't want to insult her pride. Cat can only swing two. Come on. I'm gonna go steal me some breakfast. All right, Bo. Thanks. Hey, Mimosa, can I come in? Your brother wouldn't think so. I brought a friend. Hey, man. The tennis club is down the block. You're stumbling around in my turf. He's OK, Chance. He's the preacher they dragged out and beat up for trying to help the Egyptian kings. Yeah? 
That's cool. Cool, man. Smoke my peace pipe. I will. Have my peace pipe. Have a piece of my pipe. Have a... Vámela, por Dios! ¿Qué haces aquí? What are you doing with that joint? I like it. It makes me feel sexy. You want me to embarrass you by slapping your face? You can't act like you own me. Get out of here. Hey, man, I'm walking around like grass. It's genuine. I'll give you blue. Go home. I want to stay! I want to be a dub. I keep on telling you that I want to be a dub. Look! Look at them. You want to be like them? You want to do what they're doing? I got to stop doing it sometime. Why can't I do it now? Tell the man we have arrived. We are the chosen people. We are the bishops. Big cat's the name, and jitterbug is my game. Now let's get this thing together, Ace. Time and place. Okay. Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Israel. President. And I say the park. The turf under dispute. Symbolic to boot. <laughs> Monday. It'll be at 8, baby. Don't be late. Oh, man, not at night, man. We can't see these cats at night. My man, the warlord, Abdullah. You say the night time's no good. Too many pigs out at night. High noon, then. So that the schools ain't out. Yeah, right on, Cat. I like that. And if the pigs come, then we join forces and fight them together, you dig it? Agreed. What weapons? My warlord, Abdullah. Make it light on yourself. My warlord, Nikki. Zips, blades, Straits, chains, clubs. Anything goes. That's the way we like it, too. Wait a minute. No zips. Cops don't like shooting, even from a homemade job. You chicken? You go one on one with me, and you'll find out who's chicken. Hot lip. Oh, wait a minute now. You're going to assault my warlord. We're going to get this thing on right now. No, no, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it Cool it, man. I told you you could use the place, but leave it standing, Dick. Okay. No zips. No guns at all. We'll just use blades, chains, and baseball bats. Blades, chains, baseball bats! <laughs> uh, can, can I? Can, can I say something? Well, I don't know, dude. Can you? I, uh, I, I just want to say that uh, there's somebody who, who cares about you people, cares about you very much. In fact, he loves you, just, just like you are. Keep talking about me, baby. He knows about the drinking, the marijuana. <laughs> he knows what you're looking for when you play with sex. We're looking to make love, not war. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody quiet now. OK, dude, you go ahead and rap. Anybody give you steam, I'll pound him in the creek. <laughs> he wants you to have what you're looking for. Groovy, where's his turn? Yeah, she mean, dude, the big man in the sky, lose the naked eye. Now, he's there, but where? <laughs> you, you guys talk about getting high. Well, God will get you high, but he won't let you down. What God are you talking about, Allah? Tell me, Preach, this God of yours, does he rumble? Yeah. Yeah, he rumbles. He's fighting for you right now. Whose side is he fighting on? Is he with the bishops? Yeah, 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 yeah. baby, dig it. Or is he with the Mau Maus? That's right. Huh? He, uh, he, he's with both of you. That's why I'm here. God sent me. 
Look, I'm scared. I know you guys could kill me. But that's why I know God's on your side, because he's making me do what I'm doing. Big Cat, Mr. President, I'd like to shake your hand. Nikki, Mr. Warlord, how about it? I've got one thing to say to you. God loves you. Oh, yeah, now I dig it. You dragged this dude in here to pacify us. You thought maybe you was going to change our minds? The only thing we're going to change is your lip. We're going to push it up into your nose. Oh, wow. It's up right. in his nose already. Oh. We're going to knock it down where it belongs. Oh, oh why don't you oh, shut up, Harry? It's bats, blades, and chains. When all your worst plans are made, you best sign up for Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> you better forget about Medicaid. And start saving for your tomb. Oh, you know, I can't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. This God of yours, Preach. Is he on my side, too? What's he gonna do for me? I'm a mainliner. You know, the hard stuff. A whole mountain of snow white. That's heaven. You just don't know what heaven's like, Preet. What do you got for me? Huh? I, I don't have any magic cure. Then what did you come here for?
are David. We have all been praying for you. We have? This is the preacher in the newspaper. This is David Wilkerson. I am Hector Gomez. I am pastor here. We have been practicing for the service. And this is my wife, Graciela. This is Isaac, Ruth, Israel, Samuel. Go on. Go on, speak to Paris. Shake his hand. Hello. Oh, we are so glad to see you here. So, so where are you staying? Oh, uh, well, it took all the bread money of my congregation to get me here. The cat sleep in his car. Oh, no, you mustn't do that. That is very dangerous. You must come and stay with us, Mr. Wilkerson. Yes. Oh, no, 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 I... I... Oh, it would be awfully nice on my back. It'd be nice to be near a phone, too. I, uh, I'm having a baby. Uh, my wife's having a baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you are living in the city? This is your home. Thank you. Where do you live? Oh, he's got his car parked in my parlor. You don't have a home. Yeah, I got a home, and I got ten brothers and sisters. Better in the street, more room, and a lot more quieter. So you will live with us, too. <laughs> what is it? What miracle brings such a, such a fine young man to our troubled streets? Miracle? I was beginning to think it was pure insanity. But you people, you, you make me feel that maybe it was Something good. <laughs> oh.
burn them good. Did you get hurt? Nah, we're doing great. We don't get hurt, baby. We hurt them. <laughs> hey, anybody else been here? Just Mingo. Cheerleader. Would the others be coming soon? If they make it. You got your watch? Yeah. Okay. Listen, you give them one more hour, see? No more. Anybody come in that time, you give them their rags and you tell them where the hideout is. Okay, I dig. When the hour's up, you stash the rest of the rags and split. Okay. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna preach. You're not preaching here, we got enough trouble. Okay, everybody, the circus over. You can all go home now. Go on. Officer, don't I have a constitutional right to speak on any street corner in America? Only under an American flag. Okay, you people, move out. You're blocking traffic. Come on now. Does anybody have an American flag? I can't speak without a flag. You get out of here, buddy, or I'll run you in. That's no flag. You can't speak under that. What do you mean that ain't a flag? What is it then? That's a toy. Get out from there. What's going on? Oh, hello, Sergeant. This fellow's trying to make a speech and he's pawning off that toy as a flag. What's your pitch? I just want to tell these people that somebody loves them. Well, that'll be a novel experience for them. What? That's... That's no flag. That's a toy. It looks like a flag to me. Go ahead. You talk to him. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just a country preacher, 300 miles from home. But I've got a message for you. Hey, I got a message for you. <laughs> Is there anything in your life you'd like changed? Yeah, I'd like to make the rich poor and me rich. <laughs> yeah, we got no love, we got no bread. We try to call the law, but the lie was in. Look at that. Hey, man. That's their president. And he's all alone. Cool it, man, look. What's the matter, Preach? You forget your line? <laughs> I don't know much of what's going on around here, but I do know that some of you are, are so blind that you're heading for a ditch and you don't even know it. I've seen you walk around like you own the world. You don't even know how much danger you're really in. Now, you can't live too long around here on luck because somebody can put a knife in your back in the next minute. In fact, for some of you, time may be running out right now. The Bible says, how can you escape if you neglect your soul? Now, that's one thing you can't run away from. Come on, let's go. No, wait a second. I see the hate sticking out of your eyes, some of you. I don't know who put it there, but I do know who can take it out. Some of you are strutting like a big man. But it's all a front. I can see right through you. Come on. You want to go? Go. I want to listen a minute. You pretend that you don't want anybody to touch you. But inside, you're crying out for love. Now, I know there's some pretty tough guys in this crowd. You wouldn't be afraid to shake hands with a skinny preacher, would you? Will you, big cat? What do you want me to do, man? Pray with me. Pray with me right now that the Holy Spirit will come into your heart and make you a new man. I ain't ready, man.
Don't let it bug you. You're coming through. Come near me, I'll kill you. Yeah, you can do that. You could cut me up into a thousand pieces and lay them in the street. And every piece will still love you. Sergeant Delano, am I glad to meet you? seen them when they hit the trees. They were tripping over wires and knocking each other down like ten pins. And then, then when they trapped us in the alley and they were blasting us with fire bombs, I picked up this garbage can, see, and I was running up the fire escape with great bombs. And... Hey, Vicky. Hey, I thought you got busted. I didn't see you get out of the alley. Next time, look over your shoulder when you run. Hey, man, you're kidding, right? I fought out there like a maniac. I don't see a scratch on you. Oh, you're kidding, man. Look at this. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. You got that falling over a garbage can. Are you calling me a liar? I'm calling you a liar and a chicken. Line up. Come on, get off your butts. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get your belts and leave room to swing. Nikki, honest! Now, you gonna run through, or do I have to come over there and drag you? You hold an election? Mingo is chicken! Israel, I swear, I fought the biggest, blackest jigs you ever saw. Three of them! With back bayonets! What are you trying to do behind my back, make an ass out of me? You've done that pretty good already. When? Hanging around that funny preacher. Keep your voice down. Did you get down on your knees and sing hallelujah? We rapped for a while. About what? How to bring all your lost sheep into the fold? Why do you let that guy bug you? Because I hate him. He's just a nice guy with a lot of guts trying to help people. He wants to break up the gangs. What the hell do you think he's in the neighborhood for? To be our chaplain? He wants to bless us? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with me? Why does he have to pick on me? Because you're the worst, craziest bastard there is. If he could reach you, he could reach anybody. Bingo. 
Bingo. Bingo. Bingo's chicken. Hi, Nick. Can I come in? <laughs> you gotta be kidding! I just had to come by and try to make you understand that God loves you. You woke me up to tell me that? Can we talk a while? Listen, you crazy witch. I told you to stay away from me! I didn't think you really meant that. Tell me what I meant. I'll kill you! I'm not afraid of you, Nikki. You better be. You talk tough. But inside, you're just like all the rest of us. You're scared. <laughs> there are a lot of guys with scars from Nikki that know different. Aren't you sick of hating people? I like to hurt people. Aren't you lonely, Nick? Don't sit down. I'm meeting someone. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I'll just sit till she comes. Then I'll split. Hi, the Bumble Girl, huh? Great. And how have you been? Great. I've been just great. Do you think you could let me have some money? Ten bucks. Come on, baby. It's not for stuff. It's for food. Order a soda. I'll pay for it. Don't tease me, Nick. Then don't try to kid the kidder, baby. I can see that look in your eyes. You're sweating out your next fix. Ten bucks. Trust me, Nicky, just until tomorrow. I wouldn't trust you to yesterday. Remember when you used to do everything for me? I've got a secret. I know a Deb is supposed to belong to the whole gang. But I only really ever belong to you, Nick. Now it isn't a secret anymore, is it, baby? All the other guys. Boring. But with you, Nick, I've really dug it. Write it in my yearbook. I loved you, Nicky. And I was good for you. Now you love the needle. And you're good for nothing. Please, Nicky. Please what? Give me the money. You're really desperate, huh? Like I'm down. You know what I mean? You want me to straighten you, huh? Would you, Nick? Would you? What do you think of the preacher? It's okay. He wants to help. No. He wants to break up the gang. Do we want to do that? Because he's a fanatic. He's got a one-track mind. He's got to convert everybody. 
And where does that leave you, huh? Without any gangs to mooch from, you have to hoo of the habit. Just think how boring that would be. What do you want me to do? I want you to get rid of the preacher. How? However, kill him, scare him, fall him. I don't care. Nicky, no! With him out of the way, you have nothing to worry about. I'll see to it. Nicky, you're, you're teasing me. You can have all the junk you ever want. And you can even be my girl again. God, Nicky, what a mess we're in. Gonna do it? Yeah, but stay with me first. Uh-uh. Do the job first. Then I'll straighten you. I can't. I need to get fixed. I'm shaking so I can't even hold a knife. Is worth. A few bucks. You should have clobbered the guy and searched the whole pad. I bet he had tons of bread hidden in them closets and the shoes. Oh, in the jamaka. <laughs> hey, look at this. It was in his jewel box. The guy's a Catholic. It's worth anything? We gotta take it back. Take it back? It's bad luck to steal a crucifix. Yeah, because you can't get nothing for it. You shut your mouth. Maybe we can take it to the hospital. Give it to Mingo. Are you crazy? He don't even see us. How's he gonna see this thing? He can feel what it is. He don't feel nothing. Yeah, that's right. He's still in a... A coma? A kimono? Mingo's in a kimono. Hey, it's real! Mingo's in a kimono! <laughs> Somebody's in the club room. I'll go. It's Nicky. What's he doing? Well, how should I know? What am I, his mother? What do you call these? Tostones. Mmm, these are delicious. We don't have anything like this in Phillipsburg. Maybe we should open a mission there. <laughs> Seriously, David, you have done wonders already. The kids in the street. You've been working with a bad bunch of apples and you've got them smiling. I didn't see Nicky smiling. Nicky! Do you know what you're dealing with when you deal with Nicky? Yeah, but none of them are breaking. I'm just at the point where I think I'm really getting through. They, they turn me off. They turn you off because they're afraid of being called chicken. Being a gang, fighting, stealing, shooting dope is their way of proving that they are a man. Yeah. Maybe if I could just get them all together in one big place. Get them to really commit themselves right in front of their friends couldn't turn back. You mean like a rally? Yeah, a rally. A gang rally with all the beboppers and jitterbuggers and everybody. Now, wait a minute. You can't tackle a horde of the toughest gangs in New York with a Bible. They're liable to crucify you. Where could we get a hall? I think you just lost an argument. What kind of a hall? A big one, big enough for every gang member and junkie in New York. Now, don't take a hall. Take the Grand Canyon. Well, I could get you a hall. Would it be expensive? Never mind about that. If you're crazy enough to go in with those fuzzy face killers, I'll find somebody crazy enough to pay the bill. What's the matter? Nothing. I felt like being by myself. Bugged about Mingo, eh? Yeah, I know. It gets to me, too. I just want to know one thing. How can you take a guy like that? A guy like what? What do you mean, Mingo? I mean the preacher. 
Are you still thinking about him? What'd you rap about that was so interesting? When? The other day by the school. How do I know? I don't even remember. Oh, God loves me crap like that. <laughs> you know, he came to my place at 3 o'clock in the morning just to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> if he wasn't right on my doorstep, I'd have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'd done? I sent Rose over to kill him. <laughs> I gave her the knife and everything. <laughs> no kid. Hey, you think she done it? If she did, it'd be the first thing she done right since she'd been on the stuff. <laughs> I'll wait. Vacation time's the best time. You know, some of these kids do go to school. No Thanksgiving vacation would be the time. That's right. You know, we're going to have to get a bus to move these guys. They're not going to cross each other's turf. Hello? Hadn't thought about that. David? For me? Thank you. Hello? Hi, Gwen. My wife. Rosa. Come in, come in. Is the preacher in? What is the matter with you? Oh, what's the matter? You've seen it before. I'm sorry. You got ten bucks? You know the answer to that. You've asked before. We're here with the Gomez's and Sergeant Delano. I had a wonderful meal. Listen, honey, we've had a great idea. We're going to have a big rally. A lot of the gangs are going to be there. Hector! Oh, Rosha! Poor baby! Where's the preacher? Why do you want to see David? Honey, it has to be vacation time. It's the only time we can get the gangs out. What? I want to see you. Please, I got to see you now. Uh, yeah, OK. Uh, yeah, Gwen, I know it's, it's time for the baby, but aren't babies usually late? Please. Sit down. Would you like something to eat? No. Oh. Uh, Gwen, honey, can I, can I call you back in just a few minutes? I, I've got an emergency here. Oh, honey, it'll be soon, I, I promise. Bye. I, I love... I want to see you, preacher. I've got to talk to you alone. Use a chapel. Who was that? It was a girl in the neighborhood. She's on heroin. Glad to see you again, Rosa. Glad? Oh, sure. Why? Sit down. Why are you glad to see me? Because I've thought a lot about you since the last time we met. You know I love Nicky, don't you? No, I didn't know that. He's like it for me. Now he don't give two props what happens to me. You know why? I think I do, but you tell me. He says you're trying to break up the gang. Break up the gangs? I'm trying to grab them with something that'll wake them up. You don't kill me, do you? Take it easy, Rosa. bucks to lend you. I need a fix. Oh, can't you understand that? A fix! I need it twice a day. And I haven't had any since last night. Now give me some bread, man. I got a score. Rosa, I, I'm no easy touch. I'm a man of God. 
I'm not going to help you kill yourself. You're a filthy thing. That's what you are. You want to scare people into believing in God. So what am I going to do without Nikki? But you didn't think about that, did you? Rosa, if you really want Nikki, you better get yourself clean. Rosa, you don't need that. Rosa? Help! Don't come near me! Help! Please, trying to stop. God needs you. He sent you here for help. God wants David to help you. But there's no way out for me. I'm hooked. Oh, I'm hooked. There's no way out. I'm in hell. We are here. Just for you. Why, why don't you give us a chance with you? If there is just a chance, just the smallest chance, that we might succeed, isn't that worth it? Rosa. Just let, let your body relax. Let your arms hang loose. Easy. Just let your mind. That's it. That's it, Rosa. We will take care. Hey, look at that. I wish she was in that box instead of Mingo. Yeah, poor Mingo. Boy, that mother's really got guts.
Nikki, what's the matter? You get hurt? Hey, Nikki, it's me, little Bo. I sometimes run for your dad. Want me to get help or something? Need some help, friend? Got to get you to a doctor. Get away from me. Bo said you wanted to see me. You had of your mind. Nikki, I've got to say two things to you. Yeah. Jesus loves me and you love me. I heard it before. This is important. <laughs> hey, man. No kidding, look. I got a leak in my chest and my head is busted. Go away, huh? Can't you give a poor speaker a break? Can't you see I'm dying? How can I just walk away and leave you? With your feet. Just leave, man. Tip. Blow. Someday you're gonna stop running, Nikki. When you do, I'll be there waiting. 
Should I help him? He won't listen to me. Yeah, go ahead. Tag along, Bo. I can do it alone, Bo. I don't mind helping. Go away, please! using the stuff that... Stop. What do you mean, stop? Nobody stops. I know, but I did. Oh, Nick. Look at me. I kicked. It was the preacher and the gold Get out of here. Is it because of the preacher? Get out of here. All right. I'll go. But just tell me, is it because of the preacher? The preacher, the preacher. All I ever hear in the stuff. I ever seen the preacher. But he and his friends brought me through. So what? What do you want? A shrine named after you? You're going to go on television and tell them how you got saved? I thought you'd be happy. Nick. You thought wrong. When you went on the hard stuff, you died as far as I was concerned. Now you got religion, and you're deader than ever. I liked you better as a junkie. I've seen junkies before. But you're the first religious freak to come out of this dirt. <laughs> Wasn't so bad. The guy's a phony. I can spot him. He's been messing with a lot of my clients. Well, anyway, I'm back. Don't feel bad. Nobody can kick him. Even the big doctors say so. It's in the papers every day. I don't have any money. No problem. First one's always on the house. 
Gee, it's good to have you back. All right, the fixings. No problem. First one comes with fixings. Whenever a steady customer doesn't show up for a few days, it worries me. You know, like maybe I hurt their feelings or something. <laughs> Can't make it work. Relax. Just call for room service. We bonnet. Beautiful dreamer. <laughs> Saute. Feel the sugar tip? And serve it with a smile. You cut it! Shh! Don't fight it! You're selling garbage! I didn't sell you nothing, baby. I gave it. And it's the best. Put it on your tongue. Taste it. Do you taste quinine? Do you taste sugar? No, sir, baby. You taste pure junk. I don't feel the same. It's like a, a bad drink or a tranquilizer. I've seen him try to get a free taste before, but baby, you're the best. The second one's no freebie, baby. It's ten bucks. And so is the third, the fourth, and the four thousand. Get yourself out in the street, baby, and you better learn to turn a sweet trick or two, because you're going to have to bring your tail in here more often, and it better be wagging up ten dollar bills, because you're already behind by one. And stay away from that preacher. Somebody's messing with your head. I know what you're thinking. Nothing but good nicks out there. All I see is empty seats. Yeah. Maybe I'm the reason they're not coming. 
the gangs know there's a cop around. They may think it's a trap or something. You think so? It's a thought, anyway. I won't show up tomorrow. I'll see there's no squad cars parked outside. We just won't hang around at all. That is, if you think you can handle them. I don't see much fight in those empty seats. my man's grave. Yeah, baby. So what's the beef? Hey, I'll talk. Yeah, a few of the people got out of hand. You saying you sorry? I don't apologize. And I don't talk the second. I'm talking, Nick. My people want blood. Well, then, blood they'll be, baby. When? Whenever. Tonight. Where? Park. Stick the park. We have the park. Clam up, I'm talking. Well, what did it prove? We trampled some grass and jitterbug around a bonfire, and whose turf is it? I say we have it out once and for all. Winners get the turf. Hey, baby. Who's winners? What do we do, count cuts, bruises, and broken bones? Last man standing, that's winners. How are you going to do that? As soon as we get it on, everybody runs all over the city. We get it on where they can't run. What the hell are you talking about? The youth rally. Man, there's fuzz all over the place. Not tonight. Words around that the fuzz is laying off to give the come on to us gangs. So? So we come on with all we got. Cool gangs seal off the doors. Nobody gets in or out. Then we have it on. The last man standing, his gang's got the turf. First time I ever hear a white cat say something good. Man, didn't I say you're laid back? I'm on. Now we got the time and place, the hardware. Facts. Lay. Change. Fight. Zip. Yeah, baby. But none of that store-bought stuff. I brought my whole Bible class with me. Hey, Dave, I think you're making it. Uh-oh. This is the first time I don't want no soul brothers coming to my party. of the whole thing. We'll let Mary sing. Maybe that'll cool him down.
upon the shore and there will be no sickness no more crying no more war and little children never will go hungry anymore and there'll be a bright morning over there there'll be a bright new world for us to share someday there'll be an end to unkind words and cruel the man who said there is no god will know you gang members to do it. Can I have four volunteers? money through that backstage door and uh, bring it to me. Okay. it man do we split it now or do we put it together in a bundle and the winner takes all in the rumble you know what 
That dude is so cocksure of himself. He knows that everybody in this place expects us to cop this bread. I bet he's gonna pop us some stupid sermon about honesty. I say we cross him up. We take all the bread and we give it to that stupid preacher. That's cool, man. Here's your money, preacher. Yeah. Every cent of it. Thanks, Abdullah. Thanks, Nikki. We all like to put tags on people, don't we? Try to make them like everybody else. I'll bet you thought that asking those guys to collect the money was like asking a junkie to guard a drugstore. <laughs> right? But they fooled you, didn't they? They wouldn't wear your tag. They shook free. They did it because they were suckers! <laughs> There's nobody in this world that can tag you because nobody knows how you really feel inside. No friend, no gang member, no Deb or Diddy Bopper or preacher or priest or rabbi or social worker or psychiatrist, nobody. Because your mind, your feelings, your spirit are so fantastic it would take a mind bigger than the whole world to understand you. That's why I don't preach religion. I preach about a man. The only one who knows why you do the things you do. The only one who knows what's bugging you, what's eating you. And the only one who has the power to do anything about it. Now I want every ditty bop off and I want you to listen to me. Go on, take them off. Don't be looking around at somebody else to see what everybody else is doing. Have the guts to be different, to listen for once. Now, I'm making this God's house right now. And this is the pulpit. And I'm going to talk, and if you've got the guts, you'll listen. I'm going to talk about a man. And I'm going to talk about love. That's right, love. That word that bugs you. It's a sissy word to most of you. You're going to see tonight that love is the gutsiest word in the English language. I've got to try to make you understand the meaning of love. Love isn't just something you feel. Love is something you do. It's got nothing to do with weak knees or a fluttery heart. Love is the gutsiest act that you'll ever do. Because love is turning away from your hate. And that takes guts. Now this book says, God is love. God looked at the sins in our hearts, all our hearts, yours, mine, everybody's, and he hated those sins. But God turned away from his own hate, and he sent his only son into this world to love us. Jesus was a package of pure love, sweet, straight love for you, for me. And I don't care who you've cut, and I don't care what you've been smoking or shooting, I don't care who you've been laying around with. God loves you anyway. And I know each one of you here knows about the Ten Commandments. Most of you here have broken every one of them. God knows about that, too. He knows about your angers, your fears, your frustrations. He knows that most of you have fought, and some of you have even killed. But God also knows what you can be like in the future, not just what you've been in the past. Jesus said there's just one great commandment, that you love God 
with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. I'm going to ask God right now for a miracle. Father, I'm asking you now for a miracle that in this next moment, these lives will be changed. I'm asking you, Mau Mau's, to turn away from hating your black brother. I'm asking you, bishops, to forgive the white man's sins, just as God forgives yours. Look at this, preacher. See this hole I got in me? This came from one of them niggas' zip guns. And you say that I'm supposed to love them. Man, you're not real. Hey, man, my brother died from a Mau Mau rumble. And you say you want me to love them hunkies? Yeah, man, I'm gonna love them. I'm gonna love them with a sharp blade. Now, you shut up and listen to me. You say you gotta kill them because of what they did to you. You gotta kill them because of what they've done to you. Everybody's griping about this atrocity and that tragedy. All I hear is what a rotten deal we've all got. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ was perfect and they crucified him. And he never said one complaining word. And when he died on that cross, he was a man like you. He had the same fears and the same feelings that you have. He felt pain just the way you feel pain. He felt those nails driven into the flesh of his hands. His hands, his hands sensitive part of his body and his feet. They drove a spike into his feet and they nailed him hands and feet to the cross. And he didn't have to let them do that to him. He could have called out a whole legion of angels to take him down from that cross. He could have slaughtered all his tormentors, but he didn't. He hung there, bleeding. For you, so you wouldn't have to die here today, so you wouldn't have to kill here today. Why don't you stop crying about the sins of the past? Stop paying for those sins. Man, it's all paid up. It's free. All you have to do is just accept it. Just, just open up your hearts and let all that bitterness run out. And let Jesus Christ come in. Just open up your hearts and let all that bitterness run out. Let Jesus Christ come in. 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 Listen, all you white cats and all you black cats, listen to me. Now, you've been hearing about the power of love. Well, I'm going to tell you about another power. It's gang power. And that's where it's at. Now, the bishops and the Mau Maus are having it out here tonight. And you're going to be in on it. You can't get away. All the exits are shut off. And you might as well face it, man. We are going to have it out right here and now. Cool it. I said, cool it now. Hasn't there been enough killing and cutting? Weren't you listening to the preacher? Well, I heard the preacher. I don't know how to say it. You see, you feel him. You all feel him. He's here in this room. And he wants to touch you. If you ever want your lives changed, now is the time. Put your weapons away. There's not going to be a rumble here tonight. You're in the presence of Almighty God. Come on up here together. Stand. Come on. Not as saints. Don't wait till you're good enough because that day's never going to come. Come on. Come on with all your hang-ups. Let Jesus clean you up. And as you come, let your coming say, God, I need you. God, forgive me. God, I give myself to you.
Hey, man. I know you got love. I can feel it in you. Because I ain't scared of you no more. Man, I got your life right in my hands. I can take it away, or I can give it back to you. I'm going to give it back to you. Wow, man. I really don't dig this scene tonight at all. I was talking about. Oh, you're going to find yourselves tonight, and you're going to know in your hearts it was a miracle. So you'll never trust in your own flesh again, but in the flesh sacrificed for you by Jesus. I want you all to have Bibles. Let's go, Mrs. Help me, please. Maybe it's because I'm about two minutes old right now. I'm different, too. I know. You kicked the junk. Oh, Nikki. I'm free now. I'm really free. This was the beginning, the breakthrough that was to make the ghetto my church. Little did I know it was going to lead to our own center, a home where lonely, mixed up kids could be given a new beginning. Or that from the tortured streets of Harlem and Brooklyn, the Teen Challenge concept would spread across the land to other cities, to other Nickies and Israels and Roses, surrounding them with love instead of hate and fear. One thing I already knew, in the battle for souls that surges through the tenement-lined alleys and the back streets, you can take it from this skinny preacher from the hills of Pennsylvania. The cross is mightier than the switchblade. But then I heard of a love so great. Oh, I 
see love as the Son of God Who gave His life for a mean and lonely guy like me Though it's hard for me to see I'll try to understand Understand